Hello, boys and girls! Welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we built this uh, waiting station, where currently the trains are not waiting uh, because they just move on to the to the next uh, to the next station on the list, like this one. And what we actually need to do here is on a train uh, we can have a circuit condition and if we set that circuit condition thusly that the train only moves on uh, if there is a uh, viable uh, uh, viable uh, train station to go to meaning to uh, an unloading station then we have reached our goal um, however this is not that simple um, basically, what we need to do is figure out how many uh, target station do we have, uh, how many uh, are currently occupied by a train, so they are they are not free, and then we also have uh, stations that are disabled because uh, there is too much uh, uh, too much uh, ore there so here I am actually wondering why we have the ore there Because we are missing a chest here. That's the problem. So we will have to come up with a bit of uh, logic um, that we then can apply uh, to the whole system. And we need to make sure that uh, we can keep the signals separate. So um, we, because we, uh, if we look at the train station, Um, let's add this to the circuit network. So we can count the, the train, how many trains go to that station, and we can read the ID of the stopped train. So with that, we can figure out how many stations are occupied that we do not have uh, a means to uh, determine the station count so um, what we will need um, a few of these so Let's start with the station count. Station count for iron, let's make that a signal of three. And currently we have two stations for iron ore unloading. And then we need the signal for the uh, 
for these uh, systems. I tried something here. Um, so here we want to read out the, um, the train ID and the, the train. I think the train count we don't need. Um, but we also want to know the number of uh, of items in there so to figure out is this station uh, actually active or disabled so we can do that by basically having here the same condition six hundred not five hundred and we will put out one iron ore and that means um, um, gets maybe not the best place let's do it here so iron ore five six hundred six hundred then we put out one iron ore so that means we should get nothing out because we have more than uh, 600 in here and we have another train uh, without fuel. Um, that's one thing. Then the other thing is, do we have a train there? So. Um, that would be um the t signal greater than zero and let's put out a dot yeah because the train id is larger than zero if we have no train sitting there we don't get uh, any any input there so actually um, what we then need is um, or if we ah oh. um or let's do it this way if we don't have one we put out the signal one if we have a train there we don't put out a signal and then we can do a little trick here uh, there we get the the coal out 
and then we take the, the iron ore and multiply that by our dot and output the iron ore. So we get one iron ore and that means we have one station where we could go to for the iron ore because now we have less than 600 iron ore in there and all that we need to do now is have this set up uh, at the auto station then we can add up the station count and if the station count is larger than the number of uh, stations or positive that means we do have a free station so let me quickly do that and uh, then we bring that those signals uh, down uh, we need power here and there we have the setup working. Uh, I added, um, actually we need, don't need these two. We only need to send it to the train. And as you can see, both trains now are at uh, ore smelting unloading station. And you can see here, we have the circuit condition. Uh, if we get the iron ore signal uh, which should be larger than zero because that indicates the number of stations that are ready to receive a train then we move on to the ore smelting station so basically this step checks if there is a station that could be a target for the train otherwise it will just sit uh, on here so now i think i will also add the same thing for the copper smelting and then maybe we can add a third train for iron ore and uh, uh, copper ore and see how that uh, works out because then we have more trains in the network than we have unloading station and that at least in the past has been an issue so here we hook that up to the to the same network and because for copper we will just say um give me the or have the the, the signal as a copper signal instead of a, of an iron signal so that should not be a, a too difficult if I do not run out of uh, the wires there. Um, exactly. And let's let's bring that up to here. Then here we need more fuel in there. And I am out of coal and then I can copy this setup here to there and change all this to copper. There, we don't have any copper in there. 
But here we also need copper uh, and also in the output. And then we need to connect this and and we should have this output there connected there so here we do not have uh, anything because we have a train sitting here so this station is not a viable target and uh, destination full that's okay I guess yeah because train there is unloading um, what's your problem you think Ah, that does not work. No, go to go to that station. Okay. Yours. Go to. Yeah. Now you can go. Um. Then I think we we need the train limit one here. Question is only why did that train want to go there and not here? Uh, we will figure that out, but let's first uh, sort out the copper situation. Now we can see it nicely working with uh, one iron ore train and one copper ore train sitting here. Uh, so let's see uh, how we do that. Then having another train here. And one there um, let's take this train ooh two stacking up all right we still need to fuel that one and then let's also copy a copper train there now let me grab some more coal and then actually we already can uh, that's not where I aimed for. Uh, we already can see that now it is working as intended because the trains are just waiting uh, there in the bay. And um, as soon as uh, a platform becomes available for them, they should be able to go there well, let's also make sure that furnaces are fueled there we just saw one train 
going. And the next one is also on the way. So let's put in some coal there and there. Then put that to automatic, put that to automatic. And there they go. Okay, very nice. You can see destination full. So that's that's working as expected. And down here we can also see that is working way better than we had in the past. So here we are actually now unloading the red science pack and um, this one that's for the green science I sent that uh, to this station because he was waiting at the wrong green science production somewhere down here at the station uh, that was actually disabled uh, when they should go to this or that station um, once we have enough green science there but that will do for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you soon with the next episode of Beltless factorio until then goodbye